Hey, I'm here in Fairfield with my friend Alton Hardy, and we are in what, Lord willing, will be Urban Hope Community Church's new facility. And uh, the reason we're meeting here is because come July 11th, we are having a joint prayer time. Us and other um, churches around Birmingham are joining with Urban Hope here to pray for revival within this city and within our country. And this is something that I hope um, really every member of Redeemer comes and participates in. If you were there this past Sunday, you heard me talk about the importance for prayer during this time. Uh, the image that keeps coming to my mind, and actually I got this from uh, Dr. Martin, Martin Lloyd-Jones. Um, he's the one who brought this out to me. Um, but in the Gospel of Mark, when Jesus comes down from the Mount of Transfiguration, and he is immediately confronted with the disciples' inability to cast out a demon among a boy. And they can't do it. And Jesus, he goes and he casts out the demon. And the disciples are puzzled. Um, and they didn't know why they couldn't because apparently they had in the past, but the techniques that they were using or the prayers that they were saying, whatever it was, was not working with this boy. And Jesus says, well, this kind can only come out by prayer. And what Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones taught about that was there are some sins that are in too deep um, there's some evil in the world that's in too deep and things that might have worked in the past are not going to work in the future these kind these kinds of evil can only come out by prayer um, and that's one of the things that I, I think is hitting um, America right now it's hitting Birmingham right now is the sins that we are now um, being confronted with and we are confronting um, is so multifaceted and it's so deep that old techniques are not going to work. This is something that can only come out by prayer. And so I really do want to call on us church to take time to fervently pray to the Lord that he might change hearts and that we might see revival in this city and in the world. Um, so July 11th we're going to be doing that. Um, and so, Alton, I wanted to hear you and just uh, your heart for why we're doing this and uh, just your heart for prayer. Yeah, great question, uh, Pastor Joel. Um, ever since I was a little kid, um, I used to have these dreams. I didn't quite understand those dreams at the time. I, I don't think Joseph did as well. And along the way, God has allowed for me to experience the harshness of racism in many ways. I was able to, to speak about some of that at your church a few months back. And, but along the way, God has really impressed upon me um, this statement that I've been using since I've been here in Birmingham called the manifold wisdom of God. Mm -hmm. You see that text found in Ephesians 3.10. Yeah. And to get back to what Dr. Martin Lord Jones um, said, the demon is in too deep. And what I've come to understand even now and why we're doing this prayer, and I think it's just in God's wisdom that God would somehow take a poor illiterate kid out of Sardis and burden my heart with such a, um, a, a passion. Um, not that I had it on my own desire. I really believe God put it in my heart. Um, if, excuse me if I cry because, um, but the thing of it is, um, people have always said Jesus is not enough in the sense of race mm. and and I truly believe um, that that God has allowed for things to come to where they are now in our country and we can look down through our history and see that there's never truly been a manifold of people from every tongue and tribe standing in the gospel mm. together saying we are no longer running yeah. We're no longer hiding. We're no longer going to be separated by a force that is anti-Christ. And so I think what, what God is, 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 is summoning his people. And I think, man, what a better place than Birmingham man. for God to come and to visit us mm -hmm. with his presence and with his spirit. And to, I truly believe that, um, that um, I've been somewhat reluctant to kind of try to step in the front of this. But... I think for such a time as this, um, the extra moment for my life personally, I've been telling our congregation, this is this is it for me. Um, yeah. yeah, I say, Lord, Lord, let's 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 show them who you are. Let's let's show the people. Let's show the world 
that you are God of you that you unites people at the heart, at the foot of the cross through the gospel. And I'm already sensing God's love in this building. I just know, I just feel like, I know, I just know God is coming. I just know that he's, he wants to come. And so I want Pastor Joe's church and every church in Birmingham, if you are Christian and you know God's grace, you know his salvation, and black, white, brown, and all in between, you are invited to come and bring everyone. Let's, let us pray. Let us do something that has not been done and not that we're doing it in our own strength. Let us come together as the body of Christ and let us call on Jesus to come and to, and to heal our land and to heal our cities and to heal his people and let this, this thing called um, racism or division or separation by race, economics and everything else, let it once and for all be Take a black eye in that sense. And that's what I'm praying for, that God would come and make his name glorious. And so um, I appreciate you doing this with me, brother. You know, one of the things that one of the things that we've talked about is like we want to show the world what the Lord is building. And that it seems like in uh, some of the the modern movement, actually, the church has been cast aside. Yes. But no, the Lord is building something. Yes. Um, what you would call the manifold wisdom of God from Ephesians three. And uh, something Alton and I have talked about is uh, there's this you know, passage in Joshua in which uh, Joshua's confronted. He runs into an angel and he asks this warrior angel, he says, whose side are you on? And the angel looks kind of puzzled and says, whose side? I'm on the Lord's side. Yes. And uh, Alton and I both feel like all these lines are being drawn for us and we're constantly being asked, whose side are you on? And Alton and I will clearly say we're on the Lord's side because we know what the Lord is building. Yes. And what he is building is uh, that um, a people to himself in which every tongue, tribe, and nation yes. come and worship him. And uh, that's the side we want to be on. And we know that we need to pray towards that end. And so church, um, once again, I want to encourage you July 11th, come and join us in this place. Um, so Alton, we'll see you there. I'll okay. see you before, but yeah. we'll see you there. See you there. Fist bump. <laughs> Amen.